Good afternoon or good morning, everyone, depending on your location. And this is Dr. Festus. I welcome you to my channel. And I want you to please uh, subscribe to this channel, uh, like, and also share the videos to your colleagues. Um, from my last video uh, on how to make a study area map using QGIS, uh, some of uh, the people that commented on the videos are, um, made a, a recommendation or the, uh, asked me to um, prepare another video on how to extract uh, sample data from raster files using QGIS. Uh, I know most persons are working with uh, uh, you know, raster files and they may want to get the values from those uh, uh, files. So, uh, so I'll be talking about how to extract uh, sample values from raster files. And the raster file that I'll be using today is uh, climate data. If you're working with climate data or any other, you can use the same procedure to extract your files, your, I mean, your values from any uh, other raster files that you're working with. So I'm going to start with how to get the climate data. If you're going to use climate data, you can get it from wordclean.org, www.wordclean.org. Just type in on your browser and then go to the website. When you get to the website, you can click on historical climate data if you're interested in what has happened in the past, uh, the current climate data. If you're interested in the monthly weather data, or if you're interested in the future climate data, you can also uh, click on any of uh, these. So let me, for example, let me click on historical climate data. For historical climate data, you will see it brings me to this place where I have so many uh, data that I can use for my work. I can use minimum temperature, maximum temperature, hybrid temperature, precipitation, and so on and so forth. If you're also uh, interested in uh, species distribution modeling, you want to know which habitat is suitable for your plant or animal species, you can use bioclimatic variables. But there are 19 of them inside this uh, folder. And also, if you are interested in elevation, you can also download elevation data. Uh, mind you, there are different spatial resolutions for each of these data. Uh, let's say I'm interested in minimum temperature of the year. Uh, we have 10 minutes resolution, five minute resolution, 2.5 minute resolution, and then 30 seconds resolution, depending on your choice and the, 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 your, your, uh, your internet, uh, uh, you know, uh, capability. So if you have enough enough internet uh, subscription or data, you can just download 10 minutes or five minutes. But for me, I prefer to use the lowest resolution, which is actually the, uh, in terms of size, uh, it's also very small. So I'm going to, if I want to download this, just click on the 30 seconds. If you click on it, the download will begin immediately. But because I've already downloaded this, so I don't need to, I will just, uh, uh, cancel it and then because I've already downloaded it in my computer. So straight, let's go to, I haven't known how to get the, the, uh, the climate data. The next thing is for us to now go to QGIS to see how we can extract the values based on the, based on the, uh, on the, on the country you're working with or based on the way you have gotten your uh, your 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 uh, species, the occurrence uh, data that you have, the latitude, the longitude for the species, you know, your sample locations. So you need to get the file ready also in Excel. And let me show you an example of my own uh, Excel. Okay. This is an Excel where I cut I Z sheets having the latitude and longitude for the species where I worked with. And then I collected the species uh, somewhere in Nigeria. And then you can see for each of the locations where I collected the species, I recorded the latitude and the longitude. And then, uh, so I have almost about uh, 80 something or 96 uh, occurrence points where I got 
the species. So now I've already prepared this as an Excel document. And if you're saving, like I, I mentioned in the other video, if you're saving your, you want to save your Excel document to be used in QGIS, save it as a comma, uh, as a .csv uh, format. That's comma delimited format. That will be the, uh, the best format for QGIS. Now, uh, let me come straight to QGIS. Now this is QGIS. The first thing I need to do is to bring up the raster files into the QGIS. So I just go to layer, layer, and I click add, add raster layer. In this case, I'm not working with vector, I'm working with raster. So I just click add raster layer. So this will come up, then navigate to the folder where you have the, the, uh, the raster file. You can see this is where my raster files are, or raster layer. So I click on bio one. I want to work with, uh, I want to extract this bio one. So bio one twenty six. I just click on it, click open. All right. And then of course, the next thing you do is to come to hard then click hard. So automatically to be added uh, to the QGIS uh, uh, interface. So next thing, I've already brought up this layer. So the next thing for me to go back to layer and bring up the, the uh, Excel that is having the uh, occurrence points of my species. So I'll come to add layer. Then in this case, I'm going to select add delimited text layer, don't forget, add delimited text layer. All right, so then under file name, just navigate to, see browse, navigate to the same, where you have the folder where you have saved the points, the occurrence point of the species. All right, so just click on it and then open. All right, so uh, usually uh, if the, after you have, brought it up like this, you have to select this geometry CRS to, uh, to, to be, uh, to, you have to pick this project CRS WGS84, if it is not showing when you open up uh, the, the file. So you have to select it. But now this one is already showing that, so I don't need to, I just leave it the way it is. And then uh, just, if you want to check your, whether it is correct, just move up and down and then, uh, of course, it's correct. Then you click hard. You click hard. So automatically to be added, then you close this. Uh, this. Uh, so then you come back to the uh, the table of contents. Under the table of contents, you will see the bio one raster file, and then the point, the point uh, uh, occurrence data is also there. Now, the essence of this for us to know what are the exact values of this bio one, okay? What is the exact value of this bio one on this uh, raster file? The same thing if it is temperature you're working with, what is the value of the temperature for that particular place where you have collected your species? If it is precipitation, if it is any other climate data, what is the exact value, okay? of that particular uh, climatic uh, uh, factor in, on, in uh, of that point or that place where you collected the species. So, okay. So let's continue from where I had a break in, uh, in transmission. All right, so, uh, I was talking about how you now uh, bring up the, the, uh, the extraction, you extract the values. So come to QGIS, then click processing, then click toolbox. Once you click toolbox, it automatically to uh, show by the right hand side of the interface of the window. So just come straight to, uh, Raster analysis. You can see raster analysis here. Just click on this arrow here. Then to open up all the different analysis under raster analysis. So scroll down. And what we're looking for is this sample raster values. 
sample raster values. So you just double click on this sample raster values. And then once you double click, you see this will pop up. And then the input layer is already showing as your point. That is the Excel, uh, you know, the latitude and longitude points. Then the raster layer, you will now select the raster layer to be PAL1. And then select it, click on it. And then it's already uh, there. Then the output name, you can give it the name you wish. Uh, you can say, you can call it sample, or you can say whatever. So I just leave it the way it is. And then if you want to create a layer uh, or what I would, I would just uh, recommend you to leave it the way it is. Uh, so, um, so just leave it like this and then go to run, click run. All right. So once you click run, automatically it has been extracted. Then close this. Then, so let's go back to the table of content and see whether the, the samples are Okay, uh, sorry for the breaking translation here. So let's come, let's go back to where we stopped. So it has been extracted as point. So just right click on this table of content on the point, then click um, open attribute table. So that let's see what the values are. So click on the open attribute table. You can see now, um, oh, sorry. Uh, we should click on the sample because this is a sample, the, the extracted uh, uh, value. So click on sample, right click on sample and then click open attribute table. All right, so you can see now, this is the value for the bio one. Okay, it's all there under sample underscore one. So you see, if you scroll down, you see the different, all of them because the, the point actually closer to to uh, each order, that's why you have the same, almost like the same by one uh, value. So if you scroll down, you see 2275 also, you see different, uh, you know, all right. So let's close this. Now, the next thing for you to do now is to now save these uh, extracted values so that you can use it later as an Excel document. So you think you already known the value of the, uh, the climate data for that particular uh, sample area or something area. So just right click again and then go to export. So export, click, uh, select save features as, save features are. So you select this place to be comma delimited, comma separated value, CSV. And then you can give it a name, navigate to a folder, um, navigate to a folder and then name as, uh, let's name it as bio one. All right, then see, then you can then click okay. Click okay. All right, so you have already exported the, the raster values into your Excel uh, document. So this is how to extract raster values. Like I said, you can use this procedure for any other raster files you have, it could be anything. Uh, so far is a raster file, you can get the values of the, you know, the, 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 that particular raster, you know, file, you can extract the value for your sampling area, wherever you are sampling, and then for the species occurrence uh, data. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching. And then, like I said, kindly subscribe and also like and share this uh, video to your colleagues. I hope to bring more videos later in the future. Uh, so, and if you have any inquiry, you can always uh, make at the comment section of this uh, video. Thank you very much. And uh, I wish you a wonderful, a wonderful day.